What exactly is a wrap bubble? A wrap bubble is similar to an automobile on a speed drive expressway. A wrap bubble is a space compressed on front and extended from behind. It's a difficult concept that requires a lot of mathematics, but at its most minor superficial level, it's a bit of space compressed at the front and extended at the back. The contraction or expansion hypothetically drives the bubble and its components ahead at speeds higher than the speed of light, even without breaking the laws of science. You're not moving faster than light, you're browsing a compressed space bubble. Warp bubbles are particularly significant because they remove time quickly than light. Everything outside of your spacecraft would speed up as well, implying that your three-hour exploration of a pleasant, tropical planet may have lasted years on Earth. Simply said, if you were to travel faster than life while adhering to known physical rules, you should say farewell to everything that you've ever loved before leaving. However, warp bubbles fix this problem, because the area inside the bubble is unaltered. So an hour of warp transit would only take an hour for everyone else who isn't already in a region of sci-fi environment. Warp bubbles have long since been the stuff of science fiction, until Miguel Alcubierre, an astrophysicist, proposed his Alcubierre warp engine in 1994, which kept the theory of relativity while permitting faster-than-light travel. The key to unlocking it was an energy density field that could be configured into a suction bubble, giving anything inside it negative mass until 2012. When Dr. White presented improvements to the math and geometry of the craft aimed at creating the field, which reduced the power needed from impossible to a source of energy the magnitude of a Voyager 1 spaceship. Since then, creating a real warp bubble, or Alcubierre Drive, has remained a pipe dream. So, how do we discover a warp bubble? The negative energy limitation may appear to be a death knell for warp drives, yet there are still some rays of brightness. For one thing, as per the 2021 analysis of physicist Eric Lentz, who studied the issue during the lockdown, we might well be ready to do away with it entirely. The Casimir phenomenon, which causes magnetic fields to fluctuate, could be the source of the cure for White and colleagues. In a vacuum, the Casimir effect has been attributed to the force of attraction of oscillating magnetic fields that pull pairs together, such as plates or reflections. According to the theory, electromagnetic waves constantly flow even in a vacuum, but only a few small waves can travel between the two surfaces. As a result, the total vacuum power between the particles gradually decreases than the outside energy, attracting them together. Negative energy can be formed on minimal levels during such collisions. White and colleagues were looking at something called Casimir cavities, for DARPA, when they found something which looked remarkably like a warp bubble in their computations. The detailed numerical analysis for our custom Casimir cavities helped us identify a real manufacturer nano or microstructure that is predicted to generate a negative vacuum energy density, such that it would manifest a real nanoscale warp bubble, however humble it may be. White says, quote, A toy model consisting of a 1 micron diameter sphere centrally located in a 4 micron diameter cylinder might be used to investigate the Casimir effect power density scientifically. But this begs the question, how was the first ever warp bubble accidentally created? The warp drive, a mechanism for space exploration that permits spaceships to move more significantly than the speed of light, was created by science fiction centuries back in the 1990s. Since the 90s, physicists have been developing predictive concepts, some of which follow established physics principles and others do not, to show or at the very least specify the conditions for such a structure to arise. Researchers announced the successful fabrication of a warp bubble, or more accurately, a miniature nanoscale replica of the planned model, in early December 2021. This framework will be examined and analyzed for the possible building of a full-scale warp vessel. According to the newest source, DARPA, DARPA-funded scientists discovered the globe's first warp bubble by mistake. The Limited Space Institute, LSI for short, group, directed by Harold G. Sonny White, a senior NASA warp drive specialist, has discovered an intriguing encounter that the spaceship could leverage for speedier travel. To be clear, our finding is not warp bubble analog. It is real, albeit a humble and tiny warp bubble," said in a speech. The revolution happened during a study project that wasn't looking into a warp drive or engineer Michael Alcubierre's theories from 1994, which were the first to hint at what warp power could be like. Instead, it occurred as part of a research initiative, looking into Casimir cavities and their propensity to generate energy. It needed an engineer undertaking the analysis at the exact right time. 
one that was knowledgeable with warp space technology and knew what he was searching for. To understand that this wholly irrelevant research had produced a warp bubble through a highly fortunate coincidence. The observed result was not analogous to a warp bubble, but rather a very tiny, straightforward, true-to-life structure that completely matched Alcubierre's findings. We now know what physical equipment will be required to produce a true warp bubble for the first time. This indicates that warp field theory has progressed from a far-fetched science fiction concept to something built in the real world, with existing resources and devices. According to Alcubierre, it may be feasible to stretch space behind a starship while contracting space in front of it, resulting in shallow gaps between stars and planets. The concept was visualized as a surfer riding a wave, a metaphor commonly used to explain how a ship could traverse across space. Although Alcubierre's math was judged to be sound, some outstanding issues were still there. Some hypothetical energy demands don't exist or haven't been fully identified yet. However, according to White and his team's most recent DARPA-funded study, the energy requirements would be significantly lower than previously thought. So, is there any stepping stone in designing a warp spaceship? To my knowledge, this is the first article in the peer-reviewed literature that proposes a viable nanostructure which is predicted to manifest a true warp bubble, White told the debrief. This discovery, he claims, not only verifies the standard tordial form and negative energy features of a warp bubble, but also reveals additional potential hints that he and other scientists can use to design a capable spacecraft suitable for deforming the real world one day. This is a potential structure that we can provide to the community that could generate a negative vacuum energy density distribution very similar to that for an Alcubierre-type spatial distortion, explained White. The organization has yet to construct a nanoscale warp ship, but it has the resources. If the LSI team ever tackled this, we would probably use a GT Nanoscribe 3D printer that prints all the nanoscale. White went on to say that he and his co-workers are currently focusing solely on Casimir's bespoke cavities. However, White and his team constructed a second, testable investigation that involves linking multiple of Casimir's distortion bubbles in a chain arrangement. This layout would enable scientists to better understand the mechanics of the already created warp bubble structure by optical characteristics investigation, and how a spaceship may someday transit through actual space in one of these bubbles. By adding a lot of them in a row, we can increase the magnitude of the effect so that we can see and study it, he added. Given the significance of this revolution and its consequences, we think it will only be a matter of time until this little warp ship is created and evaluated. A milestone that he says will push the complete procedure towards the inevitable aim. Warp-capable spaceships. Science fiction is slowly but surely becoming reality.